Welcome back, my friends. Today we're going to start with Chapter 8, The Most Extreme Places on Earth. Uh-oh. Bee's thinking cloud and feeling cloud is getting bigger. It says, I feel rotten. This is me on the second day of school. Here we are walking to the bus stop, and yes, I'm holding the big pest's hand. Hold my hand too, Buzzy Bee! It wasn't my idea, but the big pest wasn't sure if Bert was really truly a monster, so he grabbed my hand and wouldn't let go. Ooh, what's this? Don't touch my book! Because he was a little scared, the big pest didn't want to sit near Bert on the bus. Instead, we sat next to Einstein, who acted like she had never seen me before in her life. I could hardly hear Bert four rows back. Is Bert really a monster? Yes. Does he scare you? No, he annoys me. He calls me Bumblebee. He calls you Scaredy Cat. Mom calls you Honeybee. You call me the Big Pest. Yeah, but that's different. It was different. Bert growled and burped. He ruined the fabulous palace and the magic tree. Bert ruined everything. He even tried to ruin my life. Let me see your book, Buzzy Bee. Go away. I've got your book. Give it back. Give me back my book. Let go. Let go. Bert did just what I asked. He let go. I went flying. Look at Bumblebee fly! She looks a little scared. Are you okay? I wasn't okay. I was mad. Really mad. I'm not going to draw you a picture of how I felt, because if I did, I would look like a monster. And I am not the monster. Bert is. So just imagine me taking the big pest to his classroom. Good morning, Pablo. B grrr. Imagine how I felt in Miss Grogan's class, where my ship of discovery was still right in front of Bert's. Here's the teacher. Good morning, explorers. Come in, take a seat, take out a pencil, and put on your seatbelts, because today we are going to fly. Just like Bumblebee, said Bert. Imagine me wishing I could send Bert flying. The teacher again. Today we travel to the most extreme places on earth, from the lowest to the highest, from the hottest to the coldest, places where only the strong survive. Ready to fly, Buzzy Bee? She still looks very upset. The lowest place on earth sounds the perfect spot for Bert. Extreme? Tristan and Keisha, please pass out these top 10 geography notebooks. You'll use your notebook to make a record of each place that we visit. Now open your notebooks to the first page. Miss Grogan turned out the lights and she turned on the projector. Everybody opened their top 10 geography notebooks. Everybody except for me. I opened my book, the one you're reading now, My Life in Pictures, and I turned to a brand new page. There she is. All right, the teacher says, how long can you go? Our first extreme stop is the lowest place on earth. Can anybody guess where the lowest place on earth is? Is it the Grand Canyon? I've been to the Grand Canyon. It's the Grand Canyon. No, Tommy, it's not the Grand Canyon. And please raise your hand. Judith? The Mariana Trench in the North Pacific Ocean is the lowest point on the Earth's crust. Its maximum known depth is 10.911 kilometers, equivalent to 6.831 miles, or 36,069 feet. Thank you, Judas. Yes, the lowest point on Earth is at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, more than 36,000 feet below sea level. I think B's getting an idea. 36,000 feet below sea level? That sounds like a great place for you, Bert. I hope you can swim. 
Here's my drawing of Bert where he belongs, in a shark cage 36,000 feet below sea level. Hold your breath, Bert! The teacher says, on stop number two, we zoom 29,000 feet above sea level to touch the clouds at the highest point on Earth, which is, yes, Judith? It's Mount Everest in the Himalayan mountains in the country of Nepal on the continent of Asia is the highest point on Earth. And the teacher says, thank you, Judith. Here's Bert, 29,000 feet up at the tip top of the world. Don't look down, Bert. The teacher says, now how hot is the earth? Now how hot is the hottest place on earth? Try 134 degrees hot. Yes, Judith. The hottest temperature on record was set on July 10th, 1913 in Death Valley, California. It's hot enough to set your hair on fire, Bert. You should wear plenty of sunscreen. Too hot for you? Let's cool off in Antarctica, where they recorded the lowest temperature of 128.6 degrees below zero. Thank you, Judith. There's Bert freezing with the penguins. There he was in Antarctica. Don't feed the penguins, Bert. Have you had enough of the cold, says the teacher? Let's go fly a kite where the wind is blowing 253 miles per hour. That's the highest we wind speed ever recorded during... Yes, Judith? <laughs> Bert, you are flying in. It was actually on April 10th, 1996, during a cyclone that hit Barrow Island, Australia. And then he, she goes... Australia? Why does she say Australia? Why does she stop? No way. No, no, no way. I can't send Bert to Australia. Okay, explorers, we'll finish our tour after recess. Quietly line up to go out. This is me trying to erase my picture of Bert in the middle of a cyclone in Australia. B? This is everybody outside at recess. Beatrice! And me wishing I didn't press so hard on the paper when I draw. Beatrice! She's very focused. She doesn't want to send Bert to Australia. Why doesn't she want to send Bert to Australia, friends? This is Miss Grogan with really, truly smoke coming out of her ears. Beatrice Garcia! This is me hiding under my desk because Miss Grogan is holding my life in her hands. What is this book? This isn't your top 10 geography notebook. This is Miss Grogan looking at my pictures of Bert in the cyclone and Bert in Antarctica and Bert in Death Valley and on Mount Everest and way down under the Pacific Ocean. This is Miss Grogan looking at my pictures of Yvonne and me in the magic tree and the fabulous palace and the big pest and my mom and dad and Wendy the weather woman and Fireman Dave. Fireman Dave, if only you could rescue me now. She's reading. She's turning. She says, you may join everyone else on the playground. This is Miss Grogan sending me to the absolute lowest place on earth, the playground. Chapter nine, the lowest place on earth. This picture is blank because I am on the playground without my pencil, without my book. This picture is blank because I don't want to think about what will happen next when recess is over. Chapter 10. The monster on the top of the world. This is really truly what happened next when recess was over. Okay, oh, hey class, let's turn out the lights and travel again to the highest place on earth, which is, what is it be? Me? You. I looked at Einstein. I looked at Miss Grogan. Why didn't she call on Einstein if she wanted the right answer? I closed my eyes and I could hear Bert behind me breathing. Then I remembered drawing him on Mount Everest. 
That's right, B. How high is Mount Everest, the highest place on Earth? I closed my eyes. I could see Bert on top of Mount Everest, and then I remembered. 29,000 feet? Yes, it is 29,000 feet above sea level. And there is someone in our class, a top 10 explorer, who has been to the top. You're smart, Bumblebee. Be quiet, Bert. And then Miss Grogan turned on the projector and she showed the picture. You know the one. This one. The picture I drew of Bert on top of Mount Everest. This is everybody laughing except for me. It's Bert! He's on top of Mount Everest! Hey, it's me! I'm on top of the world! And look at B. This is me hiding under my desk while Miss Grogan showed my pictures of Bert on Mount Everest. And Bert in the Pacific Ocean, and Bert in Antarctica and Death Valley, and Bert waving in the wind in Australia. Bert's under the Pacific Ocean! Bert's in Antarctica! Bert's in Australia! Bert's in Death Valley. And B is embarrassed. She's hiding. This is everybody cheering and Bert acting like he really truly was on top of the world. Bert, 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 I'm Bert! Shh, quiet class. Bert, please take your seat. This is me hiding under my desk where I will not hear any, everyone laughing when Miss Grogan shows all the other pictures in my book of Yvonne and me in the fabulous palace and the big pest. All those pictures of what really truly happened and all those pictures of what I wish would happen. This is me hiding under my desk at the bottom of the universe where I will not hear everyone laughing at my life in pictures. Friends, do you think that all of B's friends in our class are really going to laugh? I don't know. Her pictures are pretty cool. Let's see. Chapter 11. I'm an amazing artist. We'll have to find out next time. All right, my friends. Have a good afternoon. Bye.